Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to actually go through this problem together. So on the left-hand side is 3x plus 2, and on the right-hand side is x plus 6. Now, you don't actually have to put the 3x plus 2 on the left and the x plus 6 on the right. You can choose which side, but I will put uh, 3x plus 2 on the left. So the first thing I'm going to do is put two unit blocks on the left-hand thing. Now, as soon as I do that, if the balance is going to be, it's not going to be balanced anymore. That's okay. As I keep going, it will be balanced. And then I'm also going to add three X's on the left-hand side. And I just click and drag them. So now I've got three X plus two on the left. So now I have to start working on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, I need six unit blocks. and I need 1x. And as soon as I've done that, now my scale is balanced. You cannot click continue until your scale is balanced. So now I'm ready to click continue. Now my default setting is to add something to both sides, but I don't have to do that. I can subtract, I can multiply, or I can divide. In this case, I'm going to need to subtract, so I'm going to click on the subtraction button. So what I first need to do is I need to look at both sides of the equation and see what they have in common. When I look at them both, they both have two unit blocks on either side. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract two unit blocks and click go. Now, once again, I'm going to compare and see what they have in common. The next thing that they have in common is they both have one X block. So I'm going to type in X and again, I'm going to hit go. At this point, there's no longer anything in common. However, 2 goes into both sides of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 2. As soon as I do that, I'm left with an x on the left and two unit blocks on the right, and my answer is x equals 2. Up here in the box, I can see all of my work which is really handy so I can see the steps that I make, or if I make a mistake, I can go back and fix that mistake. When you're ready to keep going, you just click the New Problem button.